Only on two, an Albany Park man shot four times on his way home from work in a seemingly random attack. He's out of the hospital now and talking exclusively to CBS 2 Sabrina Franza. Sabrina, he was just trying to find a place to park. Erica, he was. We're standing on the corner of Albany Avenue and Gunnison Street. Here at that stop sign is where those shots rang out. It's at this corner that victim tells us he'll never be able to cross again. The whole ride, I just knew I couldn't walk no more. The whole ride, I just seen nothing but light from 1.30 a.m. to 11.30 the following day. I was looking up the entire time, so I thought I couldn't walk anymore. Avery Dodd is a father of two. He was on his way home from work when... The bullet went in this when it came out of this one. Seems random. I'm an innocent person, an innocent man that does nothing but work. Dodd was circling, looking for a parking spot around midnight Wednesday when he spotted a car drop someone off at the end of a nearby alley. He didn't think anything of it. He turned, stopped at a stop sign, and says that same person who got out of the car... It went... <laughs> the glass went... <laughs> ...fired 30 times, disabled his engine with bullets, then hit his legs four times. Crawled into the nearby alley right here, and I leaned up against the wall and my legs were shaking like shaking like 90 going north. Now he says police have no leads, no tips, no suspects. The word goes around and word that bullets don't have no name on them. They don't. I'm a living witness to it. They don't. Asking his neighbors to step forward because he can't to help police catch this person. You don't have to be in trouble. You don't have to be in a gang. You don't have to know the person. You don't have to know anybody, anything, shape, form or fashion of the neighborhood you're in. It can still happen to you. Again, we do not know a motive for this horrible shooting. Dodd tells us that his doctors say he will be able to walk again with surgery and months of intensive physical therapy. Again, he's asking his neighbors to come forward if they have any information. We're live in Albany Park. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.